This is it. This is the end. This is the last level of Dishonored. Final countdown. Very hard difficulty, stealth, no kills, ghost and shadow achievements, doing it all. So just run up this first thing right away. This is a little bit, this is a tricky jump. So you need to blink, double jump with your acrobat upgrade and to get up here to turn off this big turret that will just hunt you down. And I recommend saving. I actually save right here just because there's not a good, there's lots of auto checkpoints in this game, mm -hmm. but that's kind of a hard jump to make. So it's a good time to save. There's two ways to go. You can either go left or right. Uh, if you're going stealth, I'm going to say the right way is the faster way. A la derecha? Yeah, the derecha is the correcto. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> the correcto. Correcto mundo. Correcto mundo. That is Samuel L. Jackson in Pulp Fiction. Yes. Correcto mundo. Do they speak English and what? <laughs> so this, let me just say something before you... Keep going off, because I can tell you're about to. <laughs> no, that's that's all I had, Oh, actually. So if you try to choke that guy out, mm -hmm. the arc pylon will just zap you. Uh, so you need to oh. unplug it, and I just set it down behind the wall so it doesn't hear it clank. And now you can choke him out. Are there chickens you can choke in this game? Nope, no chickens. You can't kick, shoot, or choke any chickens. Bullshit. Really? I'm surprised they didn't even put that in there, just as a little nod to Zelda. Because Zelda's always been kind of infamous for letting you beat the hell out of chickens in their games. And then when you like... Why does this game have anything to do with Zelda? Because it's a video game. And <laughs> oh, Zelda is... It's also a video game. Yeah, well, Zelda's... A... Oh. Are you kidding me? It's like, oh, there's no Kane in Citizen Kane. Yeah. It, it's, it's like using the Wilhelm scream yeah. in a movie. So here's you know? a nice little shortcut. Uh, after you choke that guy out, just zip on over to this area two guys they're both looking the wrong way how convenient yep so just choke them out one at a time uh, so there's two walls of light which are walls you can't pass uh, we're skipping both of those by going through the sewage walls drain. of light yeah they're basically like force field walls that insta kill you if you walk through them and you have to disable them if you want to get through that sounds bad yeah so I mean if you watch my playthrough, not the walkthrough, mm -hmm. I disable the wall of light and go through that way. But yeah. this is a much stealthier, easier way to go. Through the sewers. So we're into the fort. It auto-saved right there. Mm -hmm. Nicely for you. Uh, there's two guys you gotta look out for here. One's patrolling the outside and one's patrolling the room next to you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So. If you were a game designer mm -hmm. and you wanted to put a smell mechanic in a game where if you go into a sewer... It smells like shit. You contract a smell. And, oh, and you and, walk past. And then like you're sneaking past somebody and they're like, oh my god, what the fuck is that? <laughs> That'd how be would pretty you, funny. What would be the user interface? Like, How would you tell the user that they smell? Like, what would be... Would there be, like, green... It'd be okay, a third-person so, shooter, and there'd be stink lines. If it's a first-person shooter. So you're playing, like, Halo or Call of Duty. Big green gas. And you get kind of, like, jelly vision. You know where they, like, splatter the screen with jelly when you're dying? It has to be green. Green gas. Green. Green jelly vision. Gas vision. Yeah. Okay. And that means you stink. Yeah. And then if you jump in fresh water, it cleans it off. Yeah. Or you, oh, that's almost like a portal. Dude, Call of Duty sponsored by Axe Body Spray. Match <laughs> made in heaven. It's already sponsored by Doritos and Mountain Dew. Axe Body Spray, it's a perfect match for that shit. It needs to be more of a stealth game. What, Call of Duty has stealth missions? Oh, I haven't played one in the last ten years. Oh, really? No, you do them all. Yeah. I just watch you play them That's and kind of zone out and get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Halo Welcome to my hell right now. <laughs> Halo's my my only first person addiction, mm -hmm. competitive addiction. Mm -hmm. Well, I just pre-ordered that today, so Halo, Call of Duty, Halo, Halo. Mm -hmm. Don't really need to pre-order Call of Duty. Let's get on the PC. Oh yeah, I was so I was seriously on the fence about 
what console I should buy Call of Duty for. Because, um... I'm planning on playing multiplayer for a bit. Like, really... I don't know. Every year I plan on getting into Call of Duty multiplayer, and every year it kind of disappoints me. Yeah. But I do play it for a while. One more rune that you'll never use. Um... And I was like, oh, I don't know what platform I want to play it on, 360 or nice. PC. And then I realized the PC looks significantly better. It's a next-gen console. It's the next next-gen console. It's cutting edge right now. Like yeah. the PC, like the incremental improvements, game over game, are so like it's not that they're huge, but those incremental improvements add up. And mm -hmm. basically, the console, the Xbox 360, the PlayStation, have kind of been at their peak for a while now. Yeah. And now it's just, oh, well, another game. Oh, yeah. I mean, this year's the first next-gen console in a while. The Wii U. Wii U's not a next-gen console. Well, I mean, next console in the cycle. The Kinect. Like, it's going to spire. Well, oh. if, if you're going to call the, Kin Whoops. the Wii U, <laughs> if you're going to call the Wii U the next console in the cycle then the connect is the next console i'm just saying like they're putting a new skew out for nintendo nintendo's putting a new skew out for a console whether or not it's technically next gen the wii u or the wii is 130 bucks now and the connect is 150 yeah the connect is the next thing well i'm just saying like the fact that the wii u is coming out is gonna get microsoft and sony to release their soon I feel yeah, like I don't know so we'll see if you don't mind killing people if you go under this bridge mm -hmm. you can rewire the arc pylon to murder everyone except for you mm -hmm. which is pretty awesome but mm -hmm. you don't get to do that in this run so I don't like this high chaos the chaos theory in this game, if that makes sense. Like, I don't like... So, you booby trap their own security systems to kill their own dudes. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't count against you. No. I I like it. Like, some games do that well. Where they say, oh, you, you flip the switch on them. And kill their own dudes with their own things. And they're none the wiser. Mm -hmm. They don't realize that they were sabotaged. Yeah, I would have liked to done that instead of just walk over them on instead this of bridge. just completely ignore them. Yeah, yeah, because like you as this digital character, you don't really give a shit. Like everybody hates you. Why are you not killing all of them? Mm -hmm. You have no reason not to kill all of them. They're all trying to kill you. Right. You should be defending yourself. Yeah, and just turn their own weapons against them. Yes, but the game penalizes you for that. Yeah, well... And showing them sympathy, which isn't what they deserve, because they're a bunch of, you know, thieves and assassins and whatever. Well, these guys are just doing their job, you know? Bullshit. <laughs> they go to home, they go home, go to get some wings at Hooters with their buddies, go to their wives. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't buy that defense. <laughs> like the unnamed henchman in Austin Powers? The unnamed henchman and awesome. Person. Yeah, there's if you watch like the bonus features, it like profiles his life. Really? The guy who's like, no, <laughs> when the steamroller's running at him for like ten minutes. Oh, that's so. Um, anyway, he's from Mad Mad Men, not Mad Men. Uh, Mad, Mad TV. TV. Yeah. Right here, there's Michael a guy Mc standing over there. But his name is Michael McDonald. This yeah. is a huge, huge shortcut. Well, not. It's pretty huge. Not as big as the body train. From Not as big as the body train. The body train from Auschwitz. Why did I? Why did it take me two videos to figure that out? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. So you're getting to the top of this. So you're skipping four guards by going this way, which is pretty significant. Mm -hmm. It's a nice, nice little shortcut. So this is. I mean, if you're to here, the hard part is over. This, the rest of it's cake. Game over, man. Yeah. Game over. So your next guide. Do you have anything else to say about it's this? Assassin's Creed 3. Yeah, I have to say, if you enjoy this guide, I'd like to thank you for watching it. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. This has been a very successful guide and a lot of good feedback. And I'm going to give out three oh, yeah. Bethesda speaker sets. I almost completely forgot about To that. my three favorite comments on this video. 
in probably a week or two after posting it. Yeah, we got these little... Um, from E3. So, yeah, at E3, Bethesda was giving out these Dishonored-themed speaker sets, and they're not... Like, they're Dishonored and Elder Scrolls Online. Yeah, which may or may not ever see the light of day. But, um, yeah, they're pretty cool little... They're, they're not the greatest speakers in the world, but... They're powered by a headphone jack. Yeah. So, they're very portable, but probably not... They're high fidelity. They're good for a laptop. Yeah. They're, or an exactly. iPod. Or an iPod. Yeah, exactly. Camping or something. Yeah. But they they got a cool little theme of them. And they work. And they were great. So, so we, we got, got three of them to give away. So you're giving away three of them. Achievement. Clean hands. Cool. Achievement. Shadow. Nice. Achievement. Ghost. Buyaka. I think... I feel like they've updated the dashboard. So because if you watch 10 no. minutes into this, you have a very high chance of winning um, some crappy speakers. No, I feel so like they changed the display of the achievements because it used to be that if you got three achievements at once, it would say three achievements for 165 gamers. Oh, yeah. It, it, would, it would combine 150 gamer score. And I hated that. I like it when they show them individually. Mm -hmm. I actually wish that they would show all three of them at the exact same time. But whatever. It's kind of nice when they do them individually because then you can just hit the button, the center button, and see what it's for. Mm -hmm. So this is the end. This is the good ending, the low chaos ending. I'll be doing Assassin's Creed next. So what was the difference between the good ending and the bad ending? Because, spoilers, you, we're at the end of the game. You can go watch it. We have a video for that. Tell me, which one did you like better? Why did you like it better? Uh, The good one. <laughs> They're pretty. The only part that's different is this like minute clip. Oh, it's well, that's pretty lame. more than like, Mass Effect. So basically, three after here's the three difference. Games. Well, here's the difference. At your grave, Emily's there mourning you, mm -hmm. or when you're dead, or the other one, she's dead, and the whole world sucks balls. Hmm. <laughs> so, huh. all right. The whole world. Awesome game, Dishonored. So, what's your next guide? Assassin's Creed 3. So you'll be uploading a full playthrough. And a full walkthrough. And a full 100% stealth. 100% um, sync. 100% sync, that's what it's called. 100% cinch. Yeah. So that'll be fun. Looking forward to that one. I so cannot wait to play that That game. should be in about a week or two. One week, two weeks. One week. One week, oh my god. One fucking week. Yep. Next Tuesday. October 30th. Assassin's Creed 3. Alright. Well, you got a lot of work ahead of you. Game on. Game on. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.